lot of our examples on semiotics uh, at least you know for the last uh, you know 15 20 minutes that we spoke about was largely on the cpg brands or the fmcg right uh, but imagine uh, today you know there is technology right so i have apps i have uber and i have uh, you know swiggy and i have zepto and you know all these kinds of things which are coming in so if i were a technology company okay uh, and i'm actually building software uh, uh, actually uh, not enough thought goes into uh, you know how do i even design the interfaces the language the uh, you know the signs okay of uh, you know a, a button okay uh, so would that be useful for companies trying to do this and are there some examples that you know you could pick up and talk because these are i think sometimes uh, technology is also about uh, you know how you use a culture right uh, in a culture uh, you know how do you really look at all these apps that are coming in and things like that so do you think there's a lot of uh, opportunities for the tech companies to apply semiotics in their design yes sure i mean uh- as long as there is a brand involved then you need to build a brand uh, story around it so so the branding uh, semiotics is applicable across the board mm-hmm. in fact when it comes to marketing like they say there are two types of marketing one is brand marketing and the other is growth marketing okay brand marketing is pretty much about the perception that the image that you want to build about your brand in the long run Mm-hmm. And, it moves, and it doesn't change on a daily basis. It's more like a quarterly, half yearly, yearly. Mm-hmm. And you're building value for that brand, and the images, impressions, comes through more from communications, advertising, and those places. So there, what we have spoken so far is a direct semiotics mm-hmm. has a direct application mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. which is what uh, what I what I talked about was social semiotics, where mm-hmm. you understand social categories like gender and. all those things uh, the other type of uh, marketing what is growth marketing right so that is more on the behavioral uh, in changes of the consumer on a daily basis okay like whether how many people are clicking how many people are installing something how many people are buying hmm uh, the data driven marketing right where analytics hmm. is involved and it's a very quick uh, it was it's more like this very transactional level hmm hmm yeah Things so there, usually the abstract and the brand those things don't play in that deeply mm. in that space. Mm. Uh, so when it comes to semiotics, so what I shared so far was more social semiotics. So there's another substream of semiotics called visual semiotics, mm-hmm. which is a very uh, 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 like a very concrete, object-oriented uh, okay. thing where you look at specific things like color. shape mm. font mm. layout so mm. all the visual design uh, features of anything is dismantled and looked at uh, uh, the effects of each design are uh, looked at what it means and i think when like what you talked about i think is a emergent space uh, known as ux research yeah correct where they actually try to research and find out the experience of the consumer as they are not even consumer they use the word user Mm. You know, as they are using the app the interface of the app so you i actually i haven't done ux research myself mm. uh, but i i mean i am aware that a lot of qualitative uh, research happens in that space where they do a walk through where the uh, user is using it and then they kind of discuss and understand the yeah entire experience mm. so i think in that space also there is a a uh, possibility to do a uh, semiotic analysis but it won't be like a uh, outside in like what i was talking about uh, looking at media artifacts hmm. it be more about uh, decoding the actual visual uh, structure of that interface because there's a lot of for example color psychology hmm. so color generally we say red and blue but actually color has three properties right uh, hue saturation lightness yeah so so there like the like like the kind of work i did in my thesis also right it's a more psychology based work where you understand mm. what like my thesis was about what empty space means mm. in mm. cultures in a design so cluttered versus spaced out design 
high versus low saturation color so these are more as in it's a more mechanical way of looking at uh, things but visual semiotics is does that like you break it into specific uh, design features not mm. just visual it also includes sound symbolism 